I've made some progress. I've created two kinds of meshes just to test things out. Uh, a folded up shirt mesh and a folded up t-shirt mesh. Uh, so I was using books for the, in the proof of concept and books are hard. Shirts are supposed to be soft. But unf we're not doing any kind of mesh manipulation on the shirts, so unfortunately they look like bricks and they stack like bricks. Um, to try and mitigate that, there are a lot of methods I'm going to try and use in the long run, but that's not quite, I'm not quite at that point yet. For now, I'm just using sloppy stacks. And here on the t-shirts, you can see sloppy stacks in action. And this is an example of a, of a really good sloppy stack, because the shirts always fall in the direction they're supposed to fall, in the direction they would reasonably fall if they were falling off the stack. And so the end result is that it looks like a fairly natural stack, uh, aside from some clipping problems that I haven't quite finished working out yet. But it's a fairly natural looking stack. And uh, this is all customizable, so if I select this stack over here, I can change how messy it is, which is the rotation of these shirts. So if I regenerate it, you can see that they are now just randomly arranged rather than all being sorted in the same uh, direction. But it still doesn't affect the way that they fall. The way they fall is, uh, is based on how far they are from the stack. I can increase that, of course, so I could increase it to say 0.5 and 0.5. And now when I regenerate the stack, it's very messy, to a point where it no longer makes any sense, because the shirts are obviously bricks now. So there's going to be, you know, you have to, you have to deal with the fact that your shirts uh, can't be too messy, or they will just look ridiculous. So if I bring this down to 0.1 and, and 0.1, we'll have a very, very, I'll bring this back down to 0.1. We'll have a very, very gentle, carefully sorted stack, as you can see, with just enough liveliness to it to make it look like it isn't made out of bricks. Now, obviously, the fact that I have the same texture over and over and over, uh, and this exact same shape for every shirt uh, is an issue, but those are things that are only here because this is a very, very early render. Um, I'm not using a variety of meshes or a variety of textures or anything like that. Uh, now, in order to make these clothes feel more like clothes, I've been trying to use a rim light, but it doesn't seem to really be adding where, the way I thought it would. Actually, it seems to be making them feel less realistic rather than more realistic, so I'm going to have to look into that some more. I want to give these shirts a sense of softness, and if, if anyone happens to know shader tricks for making the shirts look soft, let me know. Um, obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is when I make my own textures, I'm going to give them a woven look so that should make them feel soft from close range at the very least. Thanks for your time.